when I came to art, it, abstract expressionism was in full flower and it's what captivated me. And I was so involved with that, I had to deny that to, to do my own art, I denied it completely. But I tried to do really, in a sense, my own version of abstract expression, my own figurative version of abstract expressionism. So I took the, the things that excited me about abstract expressionism, the formal matters of one kind or another, and tried to apply them to figurative art. Uh, it wasn't the subject matter that drew me in, it was the, the aesthetic uh, missions I was trying to accomplish. I'm very reactionary, and I was very reactionary to exp abstract expressionism, as were many artists. And uh, I wanted to try to devise a new kind of art, and I had been a commercial artist. And I had painted a lot of popular imagery on billboards <coughs> in Brooklyn and Times Square and all over. And I had a hunch, I had a feeling that if I could use uh, fragments of imagery that everyone knew, but they were a little out of style, they weren't old enough to be nostalgic and they weren't new enough to be passionate about or, or interesting, that uh, everyone knew what a hot dog looked like and everyone knew what a pair of jeans looked like. So I could use fragments of known imagery to set up a speed of recognition of images on a, on a picture plane. And I've said before that I was interested in the numbness that occurs uh, from being bombarded by, uh, by media.